Defender drone detected. Now entering an invaded dog zone. Yeah? What's that? Coming in? Coming in? Yeah? Mike Tyson, you? Coming in? I'll show you what I got, mate. Trust me, with this build, I will destroy you. Okay, it's Division Addiction. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. You guys probably think I'm crazy, but I'm really not. I'm just excited with this whole TU15 thing. But, yeah, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you want more videos like this, man, make sure you hit that like button. Let's get 50 likes onto this video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into this build video. And basically, why am I using this and why have I decided to show you guys this build? Okay, so we are actually running a shotgun build. Yes, I said it, a shotgun build. Now, you're probably thinking, but why have I gone towards this type of shotgun build? This is not an ordinary shotgun build I would usually see, you may say. But let's dive straight into the weapons and we'll get into the gear pieces right after. Custom M870, MCS. That's the full name of the shotgun, okay? 1.2 million damage. Rolls on here are very nice. We have 10% damage to targets that are cover to help us with that damage in PvP. This is a PvP build. This is not PvE, okay, guys? PvP. Talent on this shotgun is called Optimist, okay? Weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. So you guys know with a shotgun, you got to reload a lot. So the more we shoot, we have five in the mag, and the more we shoot, the more damage we're going to be getting. So if we just shoot three body shots, we could get that player out instantly, okay? Secondary, our Marine Super 90 shotgun. Again, we have Optimus on here as well, but with this one, you can hit it a bit more fast. It has a faster RPM, and it's got more bullets. So, um... I would use this as my secondary if I do run out of ammo and I feel like the guy is literally on one shot but I need to reload, I'll just switch to my secondary shotgun and get him up. Okay, so that's the two shotguns and why I'm using it. And I'm also using a Liberty to help towards this build, but I'm going to actually explain that after and what other alternatives you could use. So for our gear pieces, for the first piece, we have the new exotic mask. Now, what does this mask do? Some of you may be wondering, okay? Vicious Cycle, taking damage build stacks to a cap of 30. Each stack grants 1% weapon damage. Taking damage at max stacks triggers a purge, removing all stacks and status effects, and then dropping a healing cloud, which restores 5% of your max armor for 10 seconds. So this mask, basically, when it procs, it's going to heal you and give you an extra 30% damage towards your target, okay? So this is actually very powerful with a build like this, especially with Unbreakable or Spot Builds at the moment. I'm having fun with this mask, okay? So just put that into consideration. It does come with incoming repairs and armor regen, so you can pair that up with any other builds that you're interested in but for the mod slot on here we have crit damage now for the chest piece we're using a seska piece because we need that extra 10 percent and we have weapon damage on top we have maxed rolls here guys look how beautiful that looks we have 12 percent crit damage six percent crit chance and a mod slot of six percent crit chance again <clears throat> sorry there talents on this chest piece spotter amplifies total weapon damage and skill damage by 15% to post enemies, okay? Now, with this gun, we have a linked laser pointer. Now, what does this do? It pulses your enemy. Now, with the technician, you get this from the technician tree, but yes, this is why we're using Spotter to get that extra 15% amplified damage. And I just feel like it hits very, very hard. Also, you can go towards flatline on a gun like this for the talents, but you know, recently I've been hearing Flatline is just not working, so I haven't actually equipped it with this, but I might do some testing and see what's going on. But let's dive into our third piece, Walker's piece. What does this give us? 5% weapon damage, okay? We have weapon damage on top, crit chance, and crit damage. This build is just going towards crits, okay, guys? Trust me, it's going to hit hard. We have a Grupo piece, which gives you that extra 15% crit damage. We have armor on top, crit chance, and crit damage again. For the glove, we have a Badger Tough piece, which gives you that extra 10% shotgun damage because we are using shotguns, so we want to get as much damage as we can. We have armor, crit chance, and crit damage there. For the backpack, we are using a new piece. This new brand set is lovely. It comes with 5% total armor. Who wouldn't want that on their build, okay? We have crit damage, crit chance, and a mod slot of crit damage there. We have armor on top too. Now, for the talents, it comes with perfectly optimistic, okay? 
enemies you hit take 15% more damage. It's that simple, okay? You're going to be getting more damage on this build. It requires you to use a shotgun or marksman rifle, so that's why I've gone towards this setup, okay? This is why we are using a shotgun, because we want to make sure we're procking these talents as much as we can. Having spotter on this build is amplifying that damage. This is also giving us an extra 15% damage as well to all sources. This is going to help, guys, okay? Now, for our skills, we are actually using a drone. Now, you can switch between the striker drone or the defender drone. Now, I've just been trying different things out because I've always gone towards the defender drone. Now, let's go into the stats. I'm currently running 59% crit chance. However, this can actually hit, I think it could hit 53% crit chance and 152% crit damage. Now, you guys can do that if you would like. So, um, on my actual secondary as well, we are hitting the same amount. Okay, as you can see. So, guys, we are, we are just having fun with this build. And then Liberty is at 53% as well and 152% crit damage with 125% headshot damage. So on this build, we are just dealing a lot of damage and we are surviving as well. But again, go towards what you think is best. Don't just copy and paste this build and then run in the dark zone and be like, oh, Division Addiction, your build is trash. Why did you tell me to use that? Because I am actually running builds towards my playstyle and what I find works for me. Tell me what you think of this build. Tell me what you would rather use. And yeah, just, just make sure that you're having fun with TU15, okay guys? So if you're new here, like I always said, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and if you're enjoying the content so far make sure you smash that like button guys let's get 50 likes onto this build video like i said and guys man we're just gonna keep uploading we're not gonna stop and um yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the new update okay i'm gonna go now peace have a good day